Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to build our three channel dihedral wing for our swappable trainer. I won't go over too much as far as getting everything cut out, it's really straightforward especially if you built any of the flight test designs. The only advice I have for cutting everything out is to use a nice long straight edge, a good sharp exacto knife, and of course a cutting mat. The only other tip I have is to cut the score line and the spar before actually cutting out the spar. just makes it a lot easier to get a good straight line. So anyway, let's get everything cut out. The next thing you want to do is all of your crease lines. In order to do the crease lines, and this wing is very much like the one on the FT Bloody Wonder, and also the Sig Wonder if you've ever built those. So if you built those, this wing will seem very familiar, but it's the same style of airfoil. So just line up your long straight edge along the crease line, and take some sort of a blunt instrument. I have a rounded edge of a ruler, and just drag along the crease line, creasing the paper, and try not to tear through it into the foam. You'll do this for each one of your three crease lines. So let's go ahead and get our bends put in this. So um, you just grab your straight edge, put it along one of your crease lines, starting with the one furthest away from you. And then just put some nice even pressure on it and start working the bend. And this will make it a little easier to form our dihedral. And before we cut out the bend gap, let's go ahead and bevel the trailing edge. It'll be a lot easier to do now before we cut our bend gap and I have a suggested cut to show the angle of the bevel and you can use this if you want if not it's fine so let's go ahead and cut out our bend gap now that we have all that pre-bent and try to do this as accurately as possible it'll make our uh, dihedral angle a lot more accurate so there's the gap that will bend closed to make our dihedral next thing we want to do is mark our spar placement guides so just go to the end of that green line and mark it on the end of your foam board. Same thing on the other side. And go ahead and also mark your um, wing fold inline for the trailing edge of the dihedral. And the reason we do that is we're going to peel off our plans and that way we can uh, go back and put those back in later. So go ahead and peel off your plans if you've done it this way. So now go ahead and go back and put in our lines back on our wing. And then we get ready to bend our crease line in the middle. Go ahead and crack it open. I'm sorry, our score cut in the middle. We're going to want to go in and cut a 45 degree angle on each side just to make it easier to fold our trailing edge and you can reinforce this with tape on the outside if you'd like makes it a little bit stronger so now we're ready for our spar on your spar you should already have your uh, score cut running down the middle and be very careful cutting out that little notch notch sorry you want that to be as close to the plan as possible because that'll help us uh, set our dihedral so go ahead and crack open the spar and we're going to fold our spar over and that little bend gap will let us bend up our dihedral and uh, help us set the right angle. So go ahead and run a quick bead of glue down our spar. Go ahead and glue your spar down. And now we're ready to uh, glue our spar to our wing, going by those guidelines that we put back in. Make sure with your uh, wing facing up, with all your guidelines, you want that little gap facing up so it'll meet the bend gap on the top edge of our wing. So just lay down a nice bead of glue. Make sure our spar goes all the way to the end of our wing and that it's nice and centered and go ahead and glue it down with our spar in place we want to go ahead and start working our wing over forming our dihedral 
just work it over one side at a time a little bit at a time and uh, make sure it comes in contact with the spar and then ends up at that trailing edge guideline taking our time trying not to tear through the paper make sure it's a nice even fold and then just make sure each side of your wing comes up to that back reference line and that'll help make sure we have an even airflow on each side I'm going to go ahead and do this one side at a time so put glue on half your spar and then a good bead of glue on that beveled edge, on the trailing edge. Go ahead and glue that down. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. And again, just making sure you have a nice, even airfoil meeting in the middle. Now you can see our wing taking shape. We have a nice airfoil. All we have to do is set our dihedral, and that gas, uh, that gap, sorry, we'll set it pretty close, but we want it to have right at a 12 degree dihedral. So we have an angle guide and include it on the plans so the way this works is this will just go all the way to the crease and the the end will go right to the wing tip should give you right at 12 degrees so hold one end flat on the table and push your angle guide in and that'll fold your dihedral at the proper proper angle so when you glue it you want to take the tip of your glue gun and fill the gap in the spar you want to fill it with glue as well as the bend gap on your wing. So if you're going to go crazy with glue, this is the place to do it. Make sure it's nice and strong. All you got to do is hold one side flat against the table and push your angle guide in all the way until it meets the end. And then just take you a scrap piece of foam and wipe off the excess glue. And just make sure it's dry before pulling out your angle guide. So as soon as your wing is dry, go ahead and pull out your angle guide. And admire your beautiful new dihedral wing. So to make it fit well on our swappable trainer, we need to uh, cut out our wing alignment guide. And I've already removed most of the foam, and if you've done any of the flight test builds, this is very familiar. But you're going to want to do your score cuts, break it open, and then go in with your fingernail and remove that channel of foam. That'll give you a nice channel for bending this. We have our long edges as B folds. So go ahead and peel off my plan paper leave on the paper for the foam board itself I'm just peeling off my plans so our top one is a B fold a B fold there's a diagram on there but it folds flat down like against your work surface it doesn't fold up on top of the the piece same thing on the other side And our little end pieces are A-folds, so they fold up inside the tray and sits on top of the base. And once you start putting it together, it'll be pretty obvious how your folds go. And same thing on the other side. So it's pretty easy to tell where the center of our wing is. You have a nice little fold right down the middle and then we have notches on our wing aligner that should match the wing pretty well but it's not going to be accurate enough so I would grab a speed square to make sure our wing is on nice and straight 
So to get this on, we just want to center it up and use our speed square to make sure it's straight. It doesn't have to be exact as forward and back, but left and right it needs to be exact, but you have some room to play with as far as front and back. And then just use a marker to mark its placement. And then we can remove it and apply a nice bead of glue all around the edge. Again, just make sure it's square and hold it down until it's nice and dry. And there it is. There is our dihedral wing for our swappable trainer. Last thing we need to do is just a quick test fit. Let's make sure it, it fits. So the little wing aligner just goes into the top of our fuselage. Should be a pretty tight fit. There shouldn't be any slop. Make sure our wing stays straight. And there she is. Thanks for watching and happy flying.